So today I'm talking about a P2195 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P2195 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor signal bias stuck lean bank one sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's oxygen sensors that are located down on the exhaust and they do two things. And the first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And they report this information back to the computer, which uses it to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture going into the cylinders. But when you get this P2195 code, the bank one sensor one O2 sensor is reporting back to the computer that the bank one side of the engine is running lean which basically means there's more air than gas going into that side of the engine. And so it's going to, have to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's going to have two banks. Bank one side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder on your engine, since there is differences, then that's going to be the bank one side. The other side of the engine would be bank two, but the bank one side is going to be the side that the computer's seeing a problem with. If you have a four cylinder engine, then there's only going to be one bank. And one thing to note about this code is that if the engine is in a lean condition, this can be hard to troubleshoot sometimes since it can be caused by so many different things. So be sure to keep that in mind. Also, if you're getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that because that can help point you to what the problem is. But just keep in mind that if the vehicle is in a lean condition, then that can be kind of hard to troubleshoot sometimes. And so what would be some possible causes of a P2195 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that bank one sensor one O2 sensor has just gone bad. It just needs to be replaced. It could have gone bad and be reporting bad information back to the computer. So the computer just thinks there's a problem, but there isn't. There's going to be two O2 sensors on each bank of the engine. Bank one sensor one is going to be before the catalytic converter. It's also called the upstream O2 sensor. And sensor two is going to be located after the catalytic converter, sometimes right on it. And it's called the downstream O2 sensor. But the one to go and check is going to be that bank one sensor one O2 sensor. There's some different ways to go about testing those sensors. I made some videos on this. I'll put a link down below in the description if you need to check that out. Some people automatically go swap out that sensor, which may or may not work. I would go and test it first, but also keep in mind that if there's any problem in the wiring going to that sensor, then it could cause the same issues as a bad sensor. So if you do replace it and you know the sensor is good and the code doesn't clear, it's a good idea to test the wiring going to it because if there's any open, short, bad connection, then that's going to cause issues. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad O2 sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is that there is a lean condition on bank one side of the engine. And basically this means that the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into bank one side of the engine is off, that there's more air than gas going into it. And again, this can be very difficult to troubleshoot sometimes since so many things can cause it. There's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. Number one, if you're getting any other codes, quite often they can help point you to what the problem is. So for example, if you're also getting like a P0308, cylinder eight misfire detected, then it's a good idea to go check out cylinder number eight and see why it's misfiring. Go check out the injector on cylinder number eight, do some tests on it, be sure it's working correctly, and different things like this. Another example, if you're also getting like a P0103 mass or volume airflow A circuit high, then it's a good idea to go check out that mass airflow sensor because these codes can help point you to what the problem is. Another way to go about this is to remove the spark plugs on bank one side of the engine one at a time and don't get the spark plug wires mixed up or anything. But if you can remove them, you could check to see how the tip is burning. And this can tell you if just one cylinder is running lean or which ones are running lean, which can help you narrow down to which cylinder to go and check. When these are running lean, they'll be more wider. When they run rich, they'll be more blacker. You could go to Google and look up spark plug burn charts and then match them up to it to see how they're burning inside of there. That can help point you to which cylinders are running lean. And so, for example, say cylinder number eight is running lean. And then you can narrow in on cylinder number eight and go and check out the injector and things like this and find out why that cylinder is running lean. If you check all those spark plugs and the whole bank is running lean, then it's going to be something that's going to affect the whole bank. And so if the whole bank is running lean, then that's not going to be cylinder specific. And that would be something like a bad sensor or an intake air leak. An intake air leak is when air is getting into the engine around the throttle body because all the air should be going in through the throttle body and controlled by the computer. But if air is getting in around the engine somehow, then this can throw things off and cause a lean condition. And this would be something like a loose hose or a bad gasket, something along those lines. There's some different ways to go about testing for an intake air leak. One method that's widely used is use a smoke machine and you feed smoke into the intake and then wherever the smoke comes out, you know you got a leak and you know you need to fix it. But there is some other ways to go about finding intake air leak. 
And another thing that could cause this problem is an exhaust leak. And basically, if outside air is going into the exhaust before it reaches those O2 sensors, then it's going to throw those sensors off. They're going to get a bad reading. And so it's a good idea to check out the exhaust. Be sure there's no exhaust leaks going on or anything like this, because if there is an exhaust leak, you can't throw those sensors off. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2195 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.